So today I want to talk about one of the hottest topics and ideas and requests that people really want to see in Spider-Man PS4. So it's going to be a very opinionated video because it is about multiplayer slash co-op. So I want you guys to get in the comment section below and leave your thoughts as well and share the video to get other people's thoughts. But in this I want to talk about the brutal truth when it does come down to this stuff. So that being said, grab yourself some popcorn and let's jump straight into the video. So, one of the comments I constantly see on my Spider-Man videos are uh, this game needs co-op, this game needs multiplayer and just like multiple, multiple, multiple comments on that specific topic. Now, you guys will know that multiplayer, especially in open world games nowadays, is a very, very big thing and I've said this plenty of times and we've even seen games that have potential to do extremely well, simply do really well at the beginning but dry out simply due to the fact of content in the game. The reason I want to talk about it more for Spider-Man PS4 is because I think we need to actually point out that is this a thing we really really need now don't get me wrong I'm gonna say it flat out I would love to see multiplayer on this game or co-op hands down it would absolutely smash it and yes I do think to some extent it will make the game you know a lot more fun if you will and it's not gonna dry out as quick however here is the thing that I feel we all really miss including myself to be completely honest with you if we look way back at games back on the PlayStation 2, those days were, you know, the days where some of the best games to date were actually made. Hands down, you guys cannot even disagree with that. There are games on the old consoles that simply didn't have multiplayer that absolutely smashed it and kind of go in the Hall of Fame, you know, as of right now. And I think that's a prime thing that we all tend to miss because we kind of get into this, you know, atmosphere or bubble, if you will, that if a game does not have multiplayer it simply will not do well or it will do well and then just completely dry out and I've seen a few people say this for Spider-Man yeah the game looks absolutely you know a ton of fun and it probably will you know live up to its hype if you will 100% no doubt and I think the key thing that you know game developers if you will kind of miss is that you you do let's be honest need to keep updating the game to some extent adding new things for players to want to go back in because obviously when you finish a game especially an open world game and you've kind of like done all the things there possibly are to do you don't really touch it again until maybe a couple of months later possibly a year later or longer it really just depends on the person you know themselves but I will have to disagree that a multiplayer mode or co-op mode simply won't change you know the game as a whole a game's either gonna be good or it simply isn't and I think one of the most powerful things you know in game developing or games as a whole if you really want to say is give Given a very immersive single player experience that is a ton of fun, that to me personally is a whole lot more tough to actually deliver as opposed to just making a game that essentially is, you know, really trash to some extent. It's okay, like maybe the single player could be decent and then they just chuck in multiplayer with intentions that it will automatically do good. So I think we should all, including myself, because I really do this a lot, need to just get this out of our head that multiplayer or co-op will change the way a game will perform. I personally would like to see after Spider-Man is released, after like a few months, you know, they do update it with some DLC and just, you know, cool little cheesy things, if you will, that want to make you go back into the game and play it. Now, don't get me wrong, I personally would love to see a co-op mode because I think that would be, you know, an absolutely awesome sort of feature to have in the game because multiplayer would just be insane, but co-op, that would be nice to have. But if it's not in the game, which, let's be honest, is not going to be in the game, I still think it's gonna be very very good but then you never know because you know it could always be something essentially added later down the line if anything can happen let's be completely honest but as it stands I think the key things in this video to take is that the game doesn't need multiplayer to be good to deliver a single player game that is a ton of fun is so much harder than just just like delivering a game and chucking multiplayer in it to you know have expectations that it do it will do well and lastly Keep essentially refreshing the game to make it, you know, something that makes you want to go back and play the game. But get in the comment section below and leave your thoughts. Like I said, it's one of those weird videos where that's just my opinion, but of course a lot of you guys will have your own personal opinions. So my question to you is, 
Do you think a game like this needs multiplayer? Do you think if it has multiplayer, it will, you know, I guess you could say smash all like potential that it currently has, so it would definitely do absolutely amazing for a long lasting time? Or do you just think if they deliver a great game as a whole, it will do absolutely amazing, you know, without a single doubt? So get in the comment section below, let me know, subscribe for more awesome Spider Man content, don't forget to share the video as well. But I will see you in the next one. But till then, I hope you enjoyed. And adios amigos.